Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. As you can see behind me, today is the day of Sam Bankman Free. Yes, they're photographers, TV cameras. He's coming in to argue his uh, motions to dismiss. He's not going to argue, of course. His paid counsel are going to argue it. But late last night, as we first reported, um, the Department of Justice has essentially agreed to postpone, if not drop, but let's say sever and postpone the additional charges it added after his extradition, including bribery to China. Now, why wasn't it in the first case? I don't know. Will this hold up? I don't know. Seems kind of dubious, given that Sam bankman fried dominated the whole bah Bahamian political, and I would, I'm sorry to say it, assume judicial situation while he was over there throwing all the money around, as he dominated Washington, to be fair. Um, but in any case, 10.30, we're going to be covering it and quite close. In the afternoon, still on the crypto theme, um, Do Kwan's company and the SEC are going at it. Motion to dismiss. Motion to dismiss. 2 p.m. in front of Judge Rakoff. We'll be covering that. Um, two insider trading cases. The U.S. versus Rajesh Goel case is coming to a close with Niran John, the cooperator, on the stand. Going to try to cover that as well because it's a, it's a quite human drama how one overprivileged financial analyst turned on another. And speaking of insider trading, Stephen Boyer, do you remember him? The Indiana congressman. He was convicted at trial. He's put in a sentencing memo also last night. It was a lot of late night action asking for a non-incarceratory sentence. Stay at home. I don't think he's going to get it. I think it would send the wrong message, but he has a lot of letters from a lot of supporters and nobody can dispute that. Now, what we can say is that the United Nations, they're bragging that they've repatriated some peacekeepers. They're from Tanzania and they were found to have been been uh, raping and looting? No. Sexual abuse. Sexual abuse. And so the UN says in a prepackaged thing that people take at face value that they're repatriating them. What about all the other cases? We've asked about dozens of new cases. Antonio Guterres has answered not at all, totally corrupt, covering it up, global sex trafficker, banning the press. To be continued.